is your Pink Panther read-along book. Every time you hear this chime, it means that you should turn the page in your storybook. Now we are ready to begin our adventure into the land of fun. Open your book and we will start the story of the Pink Panther's Jungle Safari. Remember, when you hear the chime, turn the page. Everyone knows that panthers live wild in the jungle. Well, most panthers, that is. I know one panther who has spent his life in the city, far away from the jungle and the wild animals who live there. One day, not a long time ago, the pink panther decided it was time for a change. Maybe city life wasn't so good for a panther's health. He needed to breathe the fresh, clean jungle air and feel the green grass beneath his feet. Most of all, he wanted to visit with the other animals who lived there. He had not seen his friends in a very long time. Let me tell you what happened when the Pink Panther went back home to visit all his friends in the jungle. As the Pink Panther traveled deep into the jungle, he reached a stream that carried fresh water to the many animals who live nearby. He started carefully across, stepping from rock to rock. Suddenly, one of the rocks began to move. The Pink Panther jumped back to the bank of the stream and watched as a huge hippopotamus rose up out of the water and looked angrily around. He didn't like being used as a stepping stone. The Pink Panther had disturbed the hippopotamus's rest. Hippos love to keep cool in the heat of the day by standing in the deep water of the streams with only their noses above the surface. Hippos eat the many thick green plants that grow in and around the water. From now on, the Pink Panther must be very careful. Things are not always what they seem to be here in the jungle. The Pink Panther continued on his way through the jungle. The plants grow thick and large in the moist climate of the tropics. The tall trees help shade the jungle from the bright sun's rays. When the Pink Panther heard a chattering sound in the trees over his head, he stopped and looked up. There, swinging in the topmost branches of a tree, was a chimpanzee family. They were playing and having a wonderful time, safe from the hunter animals who stalk them on the ground. Chimpanzees are amazing acrobats. They can swing and jump from tree to tree easily. Chimps live on the fruits that grow large and sweet in the tropics. What a life, thought the Pink Panther. It must be fun to be a chimpanzee. Not all of the animals in the jungle are as friendly as the chimpanzee. When the Pink Panther reached the edge of a wide river, he saw two big alligators lying in the mud. Alligators love to warm up their cold-blooded bodies in the sun. They have very hard skin and feed on almost anything that gets in their way. They are fast swimmers, but still need to come up for air. With their big mouths and sharp teeth, the alligator is one of the jungle's most frightening animals. As the pink panther walked along the edge of the river, he saw a group of strange-looking animals drinking the water. They were shaped like horses, but their coloring was much different. These animals were striped black and white. They were zebras. The zebra is related to the horse family. Like the horse, he is a grass eater. Zebras can run very fast and have a good sense of smell. When they fight, they use their hind legs to kick. When you see a zebra, it is hard to believe that his bright stripes are a way of hiding, called camouflage. 
Camouflage helps an animal blend in with its surroundings. This ability to blend in helps protect the zebra from other animals who hunt the zebra for food. When the pink panther reached a clearing in the thick jungle, he saw one of the world's most unusual animals, the giraffe. Giraffes with their long necks and legs can grow as tall as 30 feet. With their great height, giraffes can eat the leaves that grow high in the jungle trees. Giraffes are also excellent runners. They gallop over the flatlands at speeds of 40 miles per hour. One of a giraffe's biggest problems is trying to have a drink of water. He must spread his legs far apart and bend way down to reach the water. That is a lot of work just to get a drink. Suddenly, the giraffes, which the pink panther had been watching, became frightened and ran away rapidly. Then the pink panther saw the reason for their worry. There, walking proudly out from the tall grass, came the king of the beasts, the lion. With him was his mate, the lioness. Three baby lions, called cubs, played alongside their mother and father. Lions are meat eaters and hunters. They are feared by most of the other animals in the jungle. With his speed, his sharp claws and teeth, the lion can capture his dinner easily. For now, however, this lion family wasn't hungry. The lion cubs played in the warm sun as their mother and father watched them proudly. As the pink panther continued his trip through the jungle, he saw an amazing sight. Can you imagine a bird more than six feet tall? There is one, and it's called an ostrich. Although they are covered with feathers, these strange looking birds are much too heavy to fly but they are very fast runners. An ostrich egg is the biggest egg in the world. It's almost as big as a grapefruit. Many people think that when an ostrich is frightened, he will hide his head in the sand. The ostrich is smarter than that. When his head is buried in the sand, the ostrich is feeding on the many insects that live underneath the ground. When he is frightened, he simply runs away so fast that it is almost impossible to catch him. Now that is pretty smart for a bird brain. Suddenly, the ground began to shake. When the pink panther turned around, guess what he saw? I'll give you a clue. It is the largest land animal in the world. That's right, it's the elephant. An elephant can weigh over a ton. And what an unusual looking animal he is. He has big, thick legs, a round body, big floppy ears, and most unusual of all, a long nose called a trunk. With his trunk, an elephant can breathe while underwater or give himself a shower. Elephants also use their trunks for feeding. An elephant grows two long tusks for defense. These tusks are made of ivory, a valuable material for man. For many years, hunters have killed the elephant so that they could collect the ivory and sell it for a great deal of money. After years of hunting, the great herds of elephants that once roamed the land were reduced to very few. The elephant was becoming extinct. When an animal becomes extinct, they disappear from the world and can never be replaced. Many people are working hard to see that all of the animals of the jungle are protected from unfair hunters who kill only for money. These hunters never think of the harm they are doing to the wild 
animals. Because you are a friend of the Pink Panther, I know you will help these brave men and women to protect and save all the animals of the jungle. All the creatures of the earth have a right to live in peace so that we all can enjoy their wonderful beauty for years to come.